Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I have the uh, DJI Mavic 3 with me today. And uh, in May of this year, late May, uh, DJI gave us a huge firmware update. Uh, and so let's see, that's uh, firmware update uh, number uh, 001.00.0700. Uh, and there's a whole list of things that it put on there. And I'll put that up on the screen here for you to see. It's about three pages of stuff. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go through everything, and I'm not going to read it all to you, but I'm going to tell you about the highlights that are important to me and maybe to you as well. So uh, one of the things is, is that they, and I, I taped some uh, notes to my the front of my camera here and the wind's kind of blowing it around so uh, I'm trying to read it here but and I highlighted the things that I was interested in but the telecamera now you can shoot directly from the telecamera from the main screen on the app you just select it the 7x and you can do it in photo mode uh, and it also gives you settings on that top camera manual settings that you didn't have before and then you can do the same thing in video uh, and it will support 4K, uh, but in uh, 25, 30, and 50 frames per second, same thing in uh, 1080p. And then again, you can set your ISO and shutter speed. So it gives you some more control of that top camera that you didn't have before. Me, I'm Dr. Automatic, so I'll leave it in automatic. Now, uh, the other thing that I find interesting is it adds HLG for the Hasselblad camera, the main micro four thirds camera on there. I, when people said HLG, I've seen other reviews, I just thought maybe it was a flat color profile or something. Uh, I looked it up, it's not. What it is, it, that HLG stands for Hybrid Log Gamma, and it was invented for TV news and stuff, so it really makes the colors vivid and so forth. So we're gonna try that out uh, uh, as too. We're gonna shoot an H HLG, normal and HLG, and we'll see if we can tell the difference. The other thing is uh, 1080p, 200 frames per second for slow motion. You know, honestly, when I'm flying a drone, there's usually typically not that much movement that I need that slow motion. Uh, so that's probably not something we'll show today, but, it, but, it's a, but it's a neat option. And then the other thing is the nifty option that caught my eye, the nifty option for bypass mode. Uh, and what that does is it just keeps the drone, one of the things that people have complained about is how quickly the drone moves around when it's in a pass. Well, this nifty kind of slows that down. Now I'm thinking you're gonna to wanna to be careful because you don't wanna run into something, right? So, because it's not gonna move as fast and it's gonna give you a more cinematic look. I'm not sure that that's something that I'll use that much. Uh, but uh, the other thing that caught my eye is, is that it op optimizes uh, focus performance with the telecamera, so that's important. We want good, crisp uh, pictures and video. So anyway, enough jibber-jabber. Uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air and we'll try some of that stuff out. Hey, just one more quick note here with regard to the HLG footage that you're going to see here and the uh, D-Log footage. Uh, I have done absolutely no adjustment, no colorization, and have not had added any LUTs to either one of them. Uh, now, I would have liked to have tried out a LUT with the uh, HLG footage. However, I use Magic's Movie Edit Pro uh, for editing, and it makes it, there, there's just no easy way to add a LUT with that particular program. Uh, and I would say that's probably a pretty good reason to use uh, Final Cut Pro or uh, DaVinci or Adobe Premiere or something like that. Uh, but in any case, understand that what you're going to see when you see the footage in both D-Log and HLG is it's just the raw footage. Okay, so uh, I've had the drone on for just, I don't know, a minute or so, and it's already got 23 satellites. Uh, and this is a known challenging Wi-Fi environment. We're in 4K 30 frames per second. That way we can use all those different... Uh, modes and uh oh the one thing i didn't mention is that you can now go by three pot three by crop on the zoom digital zoom on the micro four thirds camera without going into explorer mode uh so uh, i'm gonna start recording now and uh let's uh let's get a takeoff here and i want to make sure you can see the drone 
on the uh, GoPro, so I lowered the camera down just a tad. And uh, yeah, let's do an auto takeoff. Take off. The home point has and so been just updated. for the fun Please of it here, it the map. I'm going to go up about uh, seven meters high, which I believe is what they recommend uh, to give it a good look at the uh, landing pad. And we'll let the drone hover there for just a second, and we'll see if we can get a precision landing. Uh, and I think uh, I think we've about got that. So, and we are in normal mode. Yeah, it says P mode on the uh, on the app. Let's bring the drone back down and spin it around here and get a look. So there's the drone right there, and uh, and let me give you a good look at the uh, at the uh, at the uh, uh, gimbal there. Show how that gimbal works, and that also kind of shows uh, how bypass works too. So let me lower the drone down and, and bring it straight in, and you'll see it go over the top of us here or around. So you saw that it went around and up. So let me uh, let me drop it down a little bit here. And that is in regular bypass mode. And you know, I should have looked at that menu first anyway, and yeah, we are in bypass. Oh, that was actually in, well, yeah, it says normal mode. So we'll try that over again. Return to home altitude, 35 meters. Uh, we're gonna move that up in case we get caught behind something here. We wanna be able to get over the top. So uh, I moved that up. Compass is normal, IMU is normal, and battery is looking good. Uh, so, okay, so we're going to do that again, and we, we are in uh, bypass mode, and we're in normal. So I'm going to move the drone uh, straight forward uh, towards us. I'm going to pick up this camera a little bit, and straight forward, and you saw it go around and up. And that was a pretty abrupt maneuver. Let me bring it back. And boy, I'll tell you what, this drone can move some air. When it was moving over the top of me there, I could definitely feel it. Okay, so let's go in there and let's put it in nifty mode and let's see what difference that makes. I'm gonna move, uh, uh, let's see, for smoother flight, it's telling us here, subtle aircraft change. So increase risk, use with caution, and that's true. So we won't hit it real hard. Let's move it forward here and see what it does. And it did indeed moved around me, but I have to tell you this, it was uncomfortably close to me moving, moving around. So it, that definitely, slows it down so so you saw, saw that so uh let's back it up here again and i am going to uh bring it down right in front of the camera and we're gonna we're gonna try that again and i'm gonna stand back because i didn't like that drone so close to me so that was nifty mode and i don't think it did, didn't look like it was going to move around there so Let's, uh, let's try it again. And we got a car coming here. Let's try it one more time. And it moved around me, but I'll tell you what. It is way more subtle, guys. Way more subtle. So again, let's do it again. Let's switch it back into uh, normal mode. And I, I, I see I still had the, uh, the app open there, but uh, or the menu open. So let's try that again in normal mode, and it'll move a lot. Yeah, see how it was a lot more aggressive about how it moved around us there? So that is definitely, definitely something. And, and you know, I'll have to tell you, I'm a little nervous with that drone that close to me, but it de definitely moved around. But that nifty mode, I don't know if that's something that I'm going to use that much. Uh, so in any case, now let's get out over the... Uh, reservoir here and uh, do our usual uh, droney that we usually do so reverse and up now reverse and up drop that camera down and you're going to see there off on that little uh, picnic table is mr mike wright he's here with me today uh tx arch drone guy he's flying the uh, air 2s and in fact we'll uh we'll, in fact, uh, we will bring the uh the uh, drone in. I'm going to switch to the uh, uh, attitude indicator here, and let's uh, let's see. We need to stop recording to do so. 
but I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to switch to seven by the seven by camera, maybe. There we go. Seven by camera, and I just did that on the app. And there you can see Mike there. So that's pretty cool. Let me start recording again. There's Mike. And uh, let's just bring the drone in. And we don't need to, uh, you know, you don't need to come as far in. So there's Mike getting, you know, flying his drone there. So, uh, so just for the fun of it here, uh, let's see, I think I'll have to stop recording again to get out of that. Now, what I don't know is if I can go into digital zoom. Yeah, I can. So I can go right into digital zoom on that top camera. So Mike doesn't even know we're looking at him here. It looks like he's getting ready to take off again. Uh, he's looking at the drone. Look at, yeah, there you go. Look at that. We caught a takeoff. Let's pick that camera up as it's taken off. Okay, there's the beauty of zoom, right? Let's go back out to seven by. Yeah, there he is. Let's pick that camera up. Ha <laughs> uh, Fascinating stuff. Okay, so I'm going to stop recording, uh, and I'm going to go back to the uh, regular camera. So we go back. That's the Micro Four Thirds camera, and that's how far we out are out. And we can zoom in with that. And I see Mike's drone right above him there. So we're going to crop in three times on the uh, on the Micro Four Thirds camera. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see the drone. It's brought right in front of me now. I can't exactly see it on FPV screen, but uh, but it's right there, kind of above the uh, by the parking lot here. Okay. So I'm going to go back out to one by zoom. So uh, I didn't start recording there. So let's let's do that again because I didn't have I wasn't recording. That's the thing about this is you got to stop recording to switch it, and you want to you always want to remember to start recording again. Sounds like he's got that drone right above me, <laughs> so or pretty close. Uh, so anyway, okay, let's go back out to one by. And let's, uh, let's back this baby up. And I am going to stop recording. And I'm going to see if we can switch into HLG. And I do not know if I do that. I'm in video mode. So where do I, sw where do I find that at? Is it in the menu under camera? And I'll bet it is. Yeah, HLG. So we're going to switch to HLG color profile. And I don't know if that changes uh, what I'm going to see on my screen. I don't think so on my FPV screen. But I will be really anxious to see how it looks uh, on the uh, uh, when I take get a look at the SD card. So let's come over the top here. And I see Mike is landing his drone again there. He's right there. Let's kind of arch around, arc around here a little bit. Kind of a manual movement here. And I can see the drone right above me there. And you can see Mike sitting there at that picnic table. Okay, let's pick the camera up. And let's, uh, let's fly out here a ways. And it's good that we're kind of... Uh, in springtime where it's a little bit green and we've got some clouds here. It just stopped raining just this second. Mike and I were worried about that. It finally stopped raining and uh, so we can get some we get get some good footage here. And uh, yeah, so you guys will I want to go I don't want to go by the power station there. Sorry about that. We're going to head out here over towards the uh, boat ramp. And uh, and when we uh, as soon as we get out here a ways I'll uh, uh, I'll turn uh, the uh, the the HLG off, and we'll see the difference. Okay, so take a look right there. I'm at a full stop, and I am going to uh, stop recording now. We're going to go back into the camera menu, and we're going to switch to normal. Uh, and so there is normal.
we're going to start recording again and you know what i can see the difference on fpv now what that difference is it just looked darker to me so but that doesn't mean what it's going to look like on the sd card so again this is in normal mode everything else on automatic 4k 60. So we're going to stop right there. That's normal. And you know what? Just for the fun of it, I'm going to show you D-Log as well. And D-Log is not something that I use, but those of you that color grade, it's a flat color profile. And it did change the look on my screen here. So, so you can see D-Log there, and it's going to be just really a flat, not a lot of color to it. Uh, so we won't mess around with that too long. So let's, well, I didn't record, so let's stop recording. So we're going to we're going to turn around and delog, and it's not going to look that great because you're just going to see a, a flat color profile, not a lot of color. And then again, we'll switch it back into normal, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, try that HLG again. Pick up the camera. We're going to fly up the uh, reservoir here a little bit. Okay, again, I'm going to stop recording, and uh, then we are going to uh, go into the uh, menu. We're going to switch to normal mode, start recording again, and you're going to see a huge difference in what you see in color. And in fact, let's throw this baby in sport mode so we can get down the, get down the reservoir here a ways. Pick up the camera just a little. And we'll go down here a ways, and then again, we'll switch it into uh, HLG and see, see if we can see the uh, difference see what that looks like so it looks to me mike you grabbing some more batteries oh you're, you're got another battery yeah yeah another mike battery. mike's just grabbing another battery he's going to take off again and my gopro quit okay started recording on the gopro again i am not sure what happened there uh but if not we'll just have to go with uh with what we see with the uh with the screen recording and uh, I'll have audio on the screen recording. So again, we are in normal mode. Let's go down here a little ways and we'll, we'll switch back into HLG. Drone is up to about 19 meters per second. I spend more time messing around with my GoPros than I do flying a drone sometimes, guys. I'm a little disappointed right now if you can't tell. Uh, okay, so let's stop recording and we're gonna switch back into HLG and HLG, and I do see a difference on my FPV screen. It got darker. We're gonna start recording. So let's move forward with that. And again, we're up to about 20 meters per second, which is about 43 miles an hour. Uh, probably, yeah, we are going against the wind. Let me see if I can kind of do a, a graceful turn here in the, uh, in the middle of the uh, reservoir and see if we can get this guy coming back to us. Kind of going sideways here a little bit and then we'll uh, kind of transition to forward movement and again I'm anxious to see what this looks like off the SD card and there off in the distance is uh, in the center of the screen that is where Mike and I are flying from that's the viewpoint the uh, Lucky Peak viewpoint. 56% battery. We're coming back pretty quick. Let's throw it back into normal mode. Let's see if we can uh, get a picture of uh, this little peninsula right here, this little uh, part of the uh, reservoir that's poking out here. We're about 45 meters high and we're well above it so heck let's just let's just do a little adventuring let's steer over the top of this guy pretty cool huh and that road over there is uh, uh, highway 21 goes up to Idaho City up in the mountains and again we're coming off of another little spur in the uh, reservoir here and what you're seeing down there is a place you can dock your boat although you can see the water is not uh, 
up quite high enough to reach the docks, but it's just kind of a picnic area for recreational uh, boating where you can stop there and you can have a little shelter and you can do a little picnicking. Let's pick the camera up and you can see where Mike and I are at there on the, on the viewpoint. Okay, so we're going to switch back now. We're going to stop recording. We're going to switch back to uh, normal mode so you can see the difference. And I can sure see the difference on the, uh, uh, on the, the uh, uh, FPV screen. And it's cool enough here that my iPhone is working good. It's not dimming or anything. But let's, uh, let's come down here. Let's see if we can see, uh, catch Mike's drone up here in the air. He's kind of right above us here. And again, we're about 45 meters high. I'm dropping a little altitude. And I lost track of him, but he's right here someplace. Okay, let's drop that camera down. I hear his drone. Oh yeah, he's off to uh, the other side of me. So, I am going to move around here. Oh, he, he, he's taken off again. He was down low, so I don't know if we saw that on the screen. So let's kind of do a quick, uh, just a little manual orbit here around the, uh, around the viewpoint. You can see why this is a fun place to fly. Because it's, it's scenic and, and you, you know, you got a good place to set up and it's just a lot of fun. And there's Mike, he's out over the, he is directly below me right now. I see the two drones, he is right below me. <laughs> Uh, pretty cool. Okay, I am going to do a flyby here. I am much higher than Mike is. Well, if you look, his drone should be just right about below us here now. Yeah, there's some people there, so we don't want to be anywhere near them. We're going to drift off this way a little bit, and I'm right above him now. I can see the two drones together. You can see his drone right below us there, right down there. Let me see if I can zoom in and see if we can see it. He should be right. I don't. I can't see it on my FPV screen, folks. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing a circle now, so that's why I don't see it. Okay, I am moving my. Uh, Back out to one by zoom. Did that real quickly. And I see him raising altitude, so I'm going to be careful. I'm going to back off here. And he's pointed right about at me here. So uh, this is kind of fun playing musical drones here, making sure we avoid each other. Let's back this baby off. And let's see, is there anything else I'm missing on the, uh, 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 you know, it says it optimized performance with the telecamera. We saw that. So I'm going to bring it in and I'm going to show you, because I don't know what happened with my GoPro earlier. I want to I demonstrate that uh, the, the, the uh, uh, the nifty mode in uh, in bypass. So we're bringing the drone straight in here. Bringing it down. Got the drone right in front of me now. Let's drop it down. So there we are. Okay, so uh, I'm going to I'm going to go yeah, we're just in normal mode. And I'm going to double check on the, the, uh, the menu, maybe, yeah. So we're going to go into safety, and yeah, we're in bypass. So that's just regular bypass. And we are recording, so I'm going to uh, head straight for me here. And you saw the drone move around there. And it, it made some pretty quick movements to get around me. You saw it make some pretty darn quick movements. 
So let's do that again. And it went to, to the uh, left of me and up that time to do that. And, and I like that. The drone will not, you know, it just won't run into you. So now what you're going to see is I'm going to go into nifty mode. And it just, it's just not as, uh, it's just not going to move around as fast. I want to make sure we're, we don't have anybody coming here. So I'm moving forward slowly. And it moves around me. And let me tell you what, it moved, uncom it was uncomfortably close to me. And I'm moving it back. And it is uncomfortably close to me, I'm just telling you. So let's head straight for us again. And it went between, it's going between me and my, uh, and my car. I'm telling you, you may like that, I don't. I'm going to go straight up here. And I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to get into uh, normal mode on bypass. And I can see where people would like that, but I'm telling you, standing there watching the drone move around you, uh, it, was, it was not the most comfortable thing for me. Okay, let's drop it back down. We are going to do a sport mode droney, and then we're going to br bring it in, and we're going to do a uh, do a landing. So uh, let's do that right now. Uh, I'm going to drop that gimbal down, reverse, and up, and that is full throttle on both sticks. Drop that camera down just a little bit more. We'll take this guy out there a ways. That's far enough. I'm going to put it back in normal mode. And then we're going to do a RTH on the controller. And uh, let's see if we can hit the pad. It's coming back to us. So oh, it's, uh, yeah, it, it moved up higher because I had that return to home set so high. But it should drop as it comes in here. And it is. It's dropping altitude pretty quick. That's that intelligent, or I think they call it intelligent RTH, where it starts dropping altitude as it comes back. I got the camera straight down, so let's see what it does here. If it, uh, if it looks like it's going to try and land on my car or something, I'll do something different. But I bet it'll see the, uh, I bet it'll see it. Maybe not. Yeah, I canceled there, guys. I was, uh, I was too chicken. Yeah, I'm going to put it in cinema mode here. Yeah, so I don't know why we didn't get that. Uh, uh, yeah, so we are right on the H. I'm going to pull straight down on the left stick, and we'll see the... Uh, we should see the camera raise up on the drone. So straight down on the left stick now. And there, there's that camera raising up. Yeah, and so we're on the pad. I don't think you saw that on the GoPro. I probably had the GoPro set up too high. Yeah, I did, sorry about that. That's where we were on the pad there. Let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, uh, so that was a good flight and we got to demonstrate some of the things that, that I was most interested in on this latest uh, uh, 0700 firmware update. Uh, showed you what you can do with the telecamera now, how you can go straight to that uh, telecamera on top rather than the micro four thirds camera on the bottom. Looks pretty good. We checked out that HLG. I can't wait to see what that looks like off the SD card. You guys will have seen it already. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, and then uh, we messed around a bunch with that nifty option on bypass. I'm telling you, be careful with that because you know, when I was pointing it towards me, it was uncomfortably close to my head when it was going by. So, uh, so that's kind of interesting. So again, the uh, HLD stands for Hybrid Log Gamma, which just makes more vivid colors. So I can't wait to see what that looks like. Oh yeah, we also showed you what uh, uh, log looks like, and that's with, you know, no uh, a flat profile so that you can do your own colorizing 
in, uh, in post-processing or adjusting the color. Uh, but I can tell you for me, normal mode, the, the Hasselblad color science on this thing looks so darn good that uh, that typically works for me. So uh, anyway, I know there's a lot of other things on this last update that a lot of you will be interested in, uh, but these are the ones that caught my eye. Uh, so in any case, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that's about it, enough uh, jibber jabbering. Uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, of course, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.